Uh, you need. I don't have sound. Uh, wait, 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 no. Uh, wait, eight, no. Uh, eight, nine. Play. I'm not playing. Oh. <laughs> With the cable, uh, you're old school. You need a cable, but you could also use the T-Bone Giga <laughs> Pro wireless set, right? Yes, of course. You could totally use that, uh, which we already put away. So you need a old school cable. Old school cable. <laughs> Of course, you could also use a Line 6 relay, who knows what, something. They also work. We're still not anywhere. Um... What are we looking at? Ah! Ah! What? It's not 9, it's 6. Okay, it's 6, people, it's 6. I looked what? at, I looked at, on, on the, on the, uh, on the plug, there's a number for the amp. Okay. And I read that as 9. But it's 6, wanna bet? So you're in the Engel Iron Ball in beautiful white. Yes, white edition. Le Blanc. And the tubes are illuminated in blue. It's also my Powerball too has, it's a white edition as well. And it's... It's actually pretty sexy. Pretty sexy, yeah. It is. Um, you are playing uh, blue guitar. Blue guitar, as, blue tubes. As am I. Hmm. And I'm playing through Rev Dynamis. Oh, that's the new, the AZ, right? I love them. They're I just really took cool. that off the wall and that Aztec treated... Roasted maple Roasted neck. Maple neck. Um, it was in tune. I haven't uh -huh. played. I haven't played that for a month. That's why you want that. Yeah, that's it's pretty a, it's awesome. It's really very, very cool guitars. So you are going. Oh wait, play again. Uh, do I have? Yeah, good, good, good. All good. No, don't play. Um, you're going into the iron ball through the ox with a winter, with a cream back loaded for twelve. I'm going into the ref dynamis. Uh, through the torpedo studio with the ref two twelve. None of that matters. Be It's fuzz from the Ibanez sweater. Henning is just a fluffy guy. <laughs> what are we doing now? Like, um, I thought you teach guitar. Yes. Or you used I, to teach guitar. I now own, you're an international no. rock star. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I own a music school. And when I'm not touring, I'm teaching in my music school. And my, my youngest student, he's five and a half years old. Really? And my oldest student is probably something around 72. So yeah, That's I teach, cool. I love teaching. It's, it's a nice thing. So I've done these videos where I did like, you know, let's trade a lick, where mm -hmm. everyone's like, we don't want to see your lick, Henning, you suck. Let's have your guest play. <laughs> to which I say, <laughs> Shut your trap out there. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to change to, to trade a couple of um, exercises, warm ups, stuff you do cool. when you practice, which you just said you don't. But I don't like to call it practicing. So I do these Gen Majora Place videos, which is a minute of a random song, which I pick, and I would sit there and focus on like, that like, song. Like, like, like. But I can't play. Past that, and you actually know more than just that. Riff. You know how long it took me to play that one minute of Erotic Nightmares? Oh I sat God. there for like seven hours. <laughs> That's a bitch. So, that riff alone is a freaking bitch. Yep. Yeah. And okay. I think I played it wrong. But anyway, okay. <laughs> so um, I would rather like to call it warm ups because I think it's important that you warm up, especially mm -hmm. when you play festival shows and slots at late in the evening and it's cold. You need to warm up, you need to get your blood flood. Yeah. So what I usually do, it's very easy. You probably have seen it before. Ready? Ready? The, the pseudochromatic scale, as but, Peter Fisher calls it. <laughs> but the, the, the highest, there are different levels of this exercise. You're aware of that. If you just play it and you teach it to a student, the first time they play it, it's like this. <laughs> So you want to learn how to keep your fingertips close to the fretboard. The closer the fingertips stay, and it looks more like this when you play, mm -hmm. instead of this. The tricky thing is, I don't know if you're aware of that, but place every finger once, yeah. and then only move one finger for the next note. We, we, we do practice the same stuff. And to, to be honest, this is one of my favorite exercises. It trains you to, to have your fingers, the, like to fret the notes, the tone really right. Is it possible that we both read uh, 
Rocky Tar Secrets by Peter Fisher, Maybe? as everyone did that Duh. learned guitar. <laughs> um, do you know that in next February, he's doing a weekend, he, do, he does weekends now? He does it all the time. Yeah, but he did like blues guitar, see, he's doing rock, rock guitar secrets or something, or rock, ma masters of rock guitar. Okay. As a weekend, and I really want to go. Oh, that's cool. I totally want to go and yeah. do that. Yeah, why not? Let's let's do it together. Come on, well, we should do it. Wouldn't, Peter, wouldn't that be coming. awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, cool. I, I learned that. I learned so many things from from that book and, uh, yeah. and him. Um, I had dinner with him. I, I was at Warwick, and he was invited to, and we it, we actually sat at the same table, and that was an amazing night. Yeah. Um. So he calls it the spider. Yeah, the spider, which is icky, and um, of course. <laughs> Glenn doesn't like spiders because <laughs> he's wrong. <laughs> um, no, that's, that's that's a great exercise. It's yes. called the he calls it the pseudo pseudo chromatic scale because it's it's sort of chromatic, but it's well, not. there's one note missing from actually being chromatic. <laughs> that would be chromatic, but but you that, would need like a sixth finger on the left yeah, hand. Yeah, we so don't do that. Really um, <clears throat> so what is what would be a thing that you're, what, you're, what is your favorite uh, warming up exercise? Now that I already put out. This or really, one. just an exercise that exercise uh, that <laughs> exercise <laughs> really exercise that, um, that um, is only really an exercise is also chromatic. Uh, my sync between right and left hand mm -hmm. really sucks. Mine too. So um, that's why I play a lot of legato mm -hmm. because <laughs> this isn't happening. Um, so I do this. Would start like this. That's but, cool. but you see, when you, when you get to the pinky, you lift. Oh wait, do I? You leave them all there. Yeah, you lift. Wait. And you stay with them. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see the point. I see the point. Oh, I never played this. Cool. Um, of course, good on on all strings. <laughs> More difficult there. And it gets very not so defined anymore. All of a sudden, yeah. Because I suck. Um, How about a different version of the spider? If you take it, um, not only four notes on one string, but you go like play five, six on the lower E string, yeah. seven. Eight on the higher A string and then reverse like that. <laughs> we we do practice a lot of. We the, do the, yeah. We, we are on the in the same chapter of that book. But hey, how about this? I find it sometimes really hard. You have four notes on one string, right? Mm -hmm. So it's down, up, down, up, alternate picking. Mm -hmm. And how about triplets if you have four notes? Have you ever tried that? Oh, I, I do a lot of uh, 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 polyrhythms like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But also go not. Yeah, alternate picking, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Wait, 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 that's four. No, no, no. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I can't hear the difference, Henning. Again. That doesn't count. No, 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 wait. You have to make the accents like da 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 da. Okay. I'm making an angry face and I just have fire. Um, something, uh, uh, one thing that I'm always coming back to for, again, for sync mm -hmm. is a uh, uh, Paul Gibbard thing that there's a great YouTube video, really, really blurry four to three from an eighties tape. Uh, yeah. it, it's in nine, eight, so it's not really usable, but he does, um, <sighs> where is he? Uh, well, it has to do with what music you play. Yeah. Wait, 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 here. So he does that. And that goes sequences down. It's, it's a nine, yeah. so it's it's tough to uh, to actually use. Playing that up and down, uh, down uh, up would be. And it's 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 got pinky well, shit you, in there. You like, also stretch a lot, right? Which for Paul Gilbert, of course, is not a problem. Not a problem. He has and hands like a once he actually seat. plays that at full speed, it's bad. Mm. You don't want to see that. See if it works.
but that's something that I that I do for um, trying to get sync happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I do like, even though I'm not super uh, uh, a, a super neoclassical guy, but I do like to play around with uh, pedal tone licks. Mm-hmm. And something I practice uh, frequently is simply let's go into into E, okay? E diminished. No, no, just I, I, I do. I don't do shit like this. Major scale. So uh, do this e, e major. I don't know how to play. <laughs> Where? E here. Yeah, and you keep your. Uh, Keep your index in. Okay. Okay, that's the normal major. Okay. Oh, and now go put your pinky on it. Aha. Uh-huh. And play an octave down. The what? Okay. And now we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna do. Up and down. International embarrassment. Yeah, or? and then go down to the octave and back up like this. Yeah. But but here comes the kicker. This is where I'm going to lose you. Between every note, you're going to play the E again. Which which E? This. Wait. You start here, so like this. Oh, okay. So string skipping. This is tough. Right? Yeah, and, and then, then and then getting past it is different. Whoa! Is that right? Is that how you play it? Yeah. Or, so you choose the pinky. First you have the index yeah, yeah. finger and then you getting getting through that is the tough part. And how do you play the second? Uh the ring go, finger? going up. Uh I actually play uh would have my, my index here, I think. Ring. Getting past that point, like, um, uh, wait. Sounds like a Satriani tune. Hey, this is, sounds like a perfect, it could be a tune from the extremist. Uh, because he will do. Take the compliment. Yeah. Uh, and, and he also did E major, that's why. And E major. He. Extremist. Yes. He did a lot oh, of. Oh, I like that. Um, so I, I do, and then I play around with uh, variations of that, like and, and so and a minor and diminished. I don't. Who needs diminished? Oh, I know a lot of guitar players that play diminished religiously. I don't like it. But 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 wh- where would you use it? Like realistically, there are a lot of bands. The only time when I when I see diminish is when you're playing a five of six, when you're playing a, a chord that goes into into a minor chord. But how about those? There are a lot of diminished solos. Well, this is diminished. See, it's which not, is of course it's not the, the, the Beatles. The Beatles, everybody beautiful, knows. Oh, beautiful yeah. Beatles tune there. <laughs> yeah, of course you can do the flat five. Um, so yeah, I'll play around with the pedal tone licks, uh, and I work on synchronization. I've done a lot of uh, pentatonic sequences, mm-hmm. you know, threes, twos, mm-hmm, backwards, mm-hmm. forwards, and playing those in what you said in triplets. Mm-hmm. So when you have groups of four, yeah. So I did that too. Back or, in the day. or playing that backwards. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. But doing the fours in triplets. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. When you mix it, with Th- then it becomes musically four interesting. Four against three, three against four, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's that's cool. Like if you group and shape them different. Yeah. When you're practicing, cool. don't just look at how fast can I play those notes on a string. Playing, <laughs> practicing rhythms is very being rhythmically accurate. Practicing the synchronization of your left and your right hand is probably for for me personally one of the most important things, as well as. I used to say, I used to teach that to my students. The longer you play slow, the faster you will play fast. Because I remember I was a kid and I wanted to play, I don't know, like this. And I would start like, ah, shit, shit, I can't. 
all you do is repeating your same mistake over and yeah. over again. So you would practice your mistake and you would practice what you don't want your fingers to do, actually. So if you go slow and really be self-critic and really check, like, okay, make sure this, the finger spots are fine. Make sure the sound is good. Make sure to not go like... Try to not play these. That's the most important part in the beginning. If Martin Miller was here, he would absolutely contradict you. Really? He has a lesson that I looked at, and he actually talks about that in his workshops, uh, about something like closed loop and open loops. He actually he looked at neuroscience and how the brain memorizes certain things. When you, he said, when you want to play fast, if I remember this correctly... Drink energy drinks. No, 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 no. It's um, Playing it slowly doesn't program the brain to be able to play it fast. You're looking at accuracy and you of course training your muscles, but muscle memory apparently happens, um, he says, play it at the fastest that you can do it at where it's still okay. Yeah, which, sure. which will, the brain, like, I don't remember exactly, please watch Martin Miller's video on that, um, how to learn how to play fast, but apparently the brain takes it as a chunk of information. Mm -hmm. And it it doesn't do any more that that uh, that movement that movement that movement mm -hmm. but that whole the whole thing it's like a lick the yeah. whole lick instead of the and that notes. gets uh, 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 put away if you practice it slowly it doesn't mean that you will be able to play to that faster chunk. yeah but the thing is I'm talking about the really beginner level yes yes absolutely that's a different level he will absolutely back us up on that but when you uh, when your basic technique is there I saw him doing this with a student um, he said go as fast as you can do it before it's, it's not solid anymore. Mm -hmm. And play it at that speed because your brain will put that away as, as a chunk of information. And there's something called in muscle memory a closed and an open loop or something like this. What do I know? I'm not Martin Miller, um, even though I have a blue AC. Um, but uh, that was really interesting. Uh, generally, I think a good tip is play for a little bit longer. Don't play five minutes and go, fuck, I can't play. Five I, minutes doesn't do shit for you. Because I do that a lot. I, I, do? I, sit, well, I sit down on my videos and I, I... You sit down on your videos? In my... I sit down making a video. I go <laughs> away from it. Freaking gin. <laughs> so I go away from it a little bit depressed because I'm like, ah, oh, God, I sucked because I don't warm up. So in, if in the evenings I turn on a, a backing track mm -hmm. from elevated jam tracks, which are brilliant. Yeah. Um, have you seen yeah. those? Great, yeah. great. It's great. And I noodle and it's like half an hour, 45 minutes. All of a sudden I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. It's, I don't suck. I'm actually it, pretty good at guitar. It takes that amount of just noodling and playing until you come up with creativity and with really cool new ideas. It, bef before your hands actually are warm enough. Yeah. Uh, just sitting down and starting to play, yeah, you're going to think you suck. I do that a lot. But once I actually get into it and I, I play yeah. a little bit longer, all of a sudden I'm realizing, oh, my technique comes back. Yeah. For the longest time, playing fast and picking fast wasn't happening. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, it came back big time because I actually sat down in yeah. the evening and, and just played with some new guitars that I had. Um, you know how, last thing, how, how Satriani warms up? No. Very interesting. I heard him I don't. say that. I mean, come on. Joe is all no buddy of mine. I mean, Joe and I, we go way <laughs> back. Um, the hair unites us. Like, yeah, and back in the days when we went to kindergarten. Yeah, ab I absolutely. <laughs> um, good old Joe. Sachi, I called him. Um he says he doesn't. He puts his hands in warm water behind the stage, uh -huh. which jump starts them already. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that doesn't get the blood flow really going, but mm. it gets the hands warm. I mean, playing with cold hands and everybody <coughs> who ever played a show in the woods on a cold stage at night will agree it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. If you don't feel your fingers and you have to play, it sucks. So warming um, up is... But then he says what he does is this. Like this weird chord that's not a chord. That one? Yeah. And then he turns around like this. And then, and then the next, and then he goes up the next string. Uh, oh, group. he goes 80. He does that. Sounds beautiful. Well, yeah, but he does that for like a couple minutes. Uh -huh. um, and he says that apparently warms you up enough. Well, uh, it's a classical practice. Like if you go... 
and so on. That's beautiful. It sounds so nice, it's right? Musically very yeah. satisfying. Music you want to hear in the morning because it's so beautiful. Um, well, that's it from us. Yay! Jen, Jen needs to go to Stuttgart, which is very German. Very German. It's German for Stuttgart. 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 We say Stuttgart. Really? We say Stuttgart. Are you from there? Yeah. I was born there. How, how long have you lived there? Um, until I was 21. Okay, so when you say, we say, it's, you, you can talk like that. We, yeah. You're like legitly, legitimately from there. Not really. Huh? I, I am, but I, I never talk the real, uh, I, I never did that. Oh, they're okay. going to totally love you now, making fun of the accent. It's not a secret. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, keep practicing, people. And don't forget, it's like the daily practice. Don't go nuts on the day you have your guitar lesson, for example, or the day you have your show and you want to practice for three hours and skip the other six days in the week. Do it every day. That's what keeps you trained and that what's, that's what helps, right? Yep. Um, what she said. Uh, <laughs> that, that's what she said. <laughs> And um, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna say links below, but to what? I'll link the guitars, I don't give a shit. Okay, cool. Uh, link, links to the guitars. Uh, do you have a website that people need to go to? You can find me everywhere on social media, Instagram, Facebook, just type in my name in Google and it will go poof. What she said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Barcelona. Damn. Then again, it's 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 Thai, right? Yes, it's Thai. But I like my name pronounced in Spanish. Mora. <laughs> it's mean. It's more it's more metal than the Thai. Yeah, version. right. Yeah, yeah. It's it's way more metal. Um, the other one is more. Mayura. <laughs> you actually did that with the note that was ringing. Beautiful. Mayura. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> um, Animals at the end. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. And there's also Tony on the couch back there, which you don't see, and it's completely pointless to even mention that. But there's someone else in the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see you guys on Bye. the Flippity Flop. Bye. <laughs>